Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's a beautiful, crisp, cool Saturday morning out and about looking for garage sale finds. I'm really not surprised that there are a lot of garage sales out today. It is a truly beautiful day to be outside. Let's just hope I can find some bargains somewhere through here. Check out the color of this person's car right here. It's very bright. I'm guessing he has a hard time finding his car maybe at the parking lot at the mall. Paint your car that bright color and make it easier to find. I'm guessing. I don't know. Much as I do love a garage sale or yard sale, I also love a church rubbish sale. Alright guys, fast forward several hours later, I didn't find what I was looking for specifically, that's so why I went to that church rummage sale. I wanted to find old cords, thin cords, wire cords, plastic coated cords that I could make into a fake barbed wire for a project of mine for a gift for a friend of mine coming up here real soon. Couldn't find the cords. Sometimes at those rummage sales or sometimes at garage sales, people are selling their old pieces. Let me give you an example of something specific. Early December, I wanted to make Christmas trees, upcycled Christmas trees out of old automotive parts, specifically bolts and washers and nuts. So I bought a bag of those at somebody's garage sale, and I made these guys for myself. Just fun, kind of tinkering, playing with stuff. Here's another one. This guy's pretty cool. So sometimes they go for specific, sometimes I don't find specifics, and that's okay too, because there's always a plan B. I made these for Christmas this year. Just went to my local Lowe's, bought a bunch, and made Christmas trees for everybody. Christmas tree ornaments out of these guys here. But today I wasn't looking for bolts and nuts and washers. I was looking for cords to make faux fake barbed wire. I have a couple. I made this one the other day. This was a, a yellow plastic cord from Home Depot, or I think Lowe's. So I don't want to use real barbed wire because barbed wire is actually dangerous to handle with your own hand so I wanted to make something that was safe and uh, but I didn't like this the way it looked so I went out searching today for more supplies no luck so back to Home Depot bought a different kind of cord now I have something I think I'm pretty happy with check out this that kind of looks a little more like barbed wire for the project at hand coming up here super duper soon I'm not going to show you what it is or even tell you what it is because it's a secret gift for a friend of mine and I don't give too much information away. So that was my plan today. Find stuff cheaply, but thankfully this kind of stuff is not expensive anyway. So I'm going to let you guys go right here, right now. You know what? Let's go check the mail first. Nothing too crazy to uh, worry about in the mailbox today. But as I was walking out to the mailbox, I noticed something kind of strange right there. See that stuff right there? That's a bunch of um, stuff being thrown away. Household stuff. Looks like toys. Uh, looks like some kind of grill. I think my neighbors here might be moving. I hope not. They're really good neighbors. But there is a set of horses they're throwing out. I'm going to check it out. Come with me. Stuff here. These horses look pretty cool. I could do something with those for sure. I think I'm going to take them. They're pretty cool. They're hollow plastic. But I could certainly do something with these guys. Pretty good size, too. I mean, I need more junk in my garage, like I need a hole in the head. But these I can do something with, I think. Right? Which means they need names now, don't they? Of course, Halloween's coming. I can make them spooky horses. I can paint them, make them like bronze horses. The possibilities are endless. Horsing around with a bunch of plastic horses. Not a bunch, just a couple. So, thanks for watching and tuning in. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.